for functional mitral regurgitation, patients with heart failure and functional mitral regurgitation, there should be an accurate assessment of the severity of mitral regurgitation, there should be an accurate assessment of the underlying mechanisms that cause this uh, functional mitral regurgitation and try to tailor the therapy, individualize the therapy for each patient in order to improve the outcomes of the therapy. The evaluation of patients with functional mitral regurgitation needs a comprehensive evaluation of the left ventricle in terms of uh, dimensions and function and geometry, the mitral valve geometry and the viability and the synchrony of the left ventricle. We have a lot of modality for image the heart and it's really a chance but we need absolutely to have a stepwise approach to use the best technique in the most appropriate way but this will increase the precision of the diagnosis and the management of the patient in an appropriate way. For example, pericardial disease. In these circumstances, you can always begin with echo. This is well defined. This is the first line examination. But for example, if the examination is inconclusive or the quality of the imaging is poor, you have to move to another imaging modality. But this is really highly dependent on the clinical context. For example, if you have a chronic constriction and you want to operate your patient, you will have to use all the modalities. You will have to, to use CT to uh, evaluate the importance of calcification and the localization of the, the calcification, but also CMR to evaluate the fibrosis at the level of the muscle. Because if you operate this patient with a lot of fibrosis, you are nearly sure that he will die. So in this particular case, there is a stepwise approach, but in other cases, you can have also the use of all modalities included. Currently, cardiologists use um, functional techniques in order to guide revascularization strategies like FFR or stress MRI or stress echo. But probably in the future, we would have to focus more on morphology because this would probably provide us with the best insight for the vulnerable patient. In modern cardiology, we have a variety of techniques that uh, provide us imaging of the arterial vessel wall. However, we do not have the optimal technique for this purpose and we all need to perform considerable work in order to refine these techniques, maybe to combine such techniques in order to assess the personalized risk for the patient for a future acute event.